everybody welcome back to my channel so i have another food shop and i went to sainsbury's again so i spent 78 pounds i haven't got any meats um for dinners because i bought a meat pack which is two weeks ago now and i've still got enough meats in the freezer for um dinners for this whole week i think like a couple of times we might have like once we went to morrison's you know like to do the 10 pounds um for a family of four so yeah we did that once and then i can't remember we went to a wedding um over the weekend so like something sometimes things happen where we don't use all our meats and we also have one veggie meal a week um so yeah um so the meat pack has gone up really well and i think i spent 78 pounds but i think i'm still like in my budget because if i'd spent if i bought meats i'd probably be up to like to be honest i think i've done really well because i think if i spent meats i still wouldn't be at 130 and i sort of try and budget around 130 a shop um i think it's quite a lot of money but we're a big family. I don't know, like, what do you lot spend on your shopping for what size family? We're a family of six and we spend about £130 a week. But yeah, £78 this week. I will show you everything I got. I will tell you all my prices for everything. And I will, afterwards, I will tell you our meals of the week and what we're going to be having um, everything with. And I hope you find it interesting. Um, a couple of bits I did pop in Sainsbury's this morning. So basically, I did click and collect. I've done it twice now. And that's the reason I've gone to Sainsbury's. Because, um, sorry, I don't want to go on and bore you. So if you don't find this interesting, just skip straight to my haul. Um, but yeah, I... I've done Sainsbury's because I've forgotten about my shopping and I just, this week and last week, I just couldn't deal with going in with the children. It's only the youngest two, but still, I just, I couldn't really deal with it. So, um, I did click and collect and Sainsbury's is the only one who do like delivery or click and collect for like a really good price um, the night before. So, last week I got a delivery for a pound. This week I did click and collect for 50p. There's a Sainsbury's sort of near the boys' school, so I did that. Um, and then my card wasn't working because it had expired on my account. And I had to call them to change my card. Um, so I popped into Sainsbury's. I needed the toilet and then I just spent another tenner. Um, but I did get Cosmos and pants, so it wasn't so bad. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna show you everything I got and I hope you find it interesting and thank you for watching. So I got two unsalted butters. I like to use unsalted for cooking. Um, and they were £2.15 each. So to get the year value was cheaper than to buy the Sainsbury's ones. Um, and I like to collect the tokens. I've got quite a lot at the moment. I got one cheese because I've already got one in the fridge from last week. And that was £2.25. And then I got some baby bells um, for the boys. Horatio really likes them. He's got like a little pot. You put it in. It came with them before. And you put it in the microwave and um, heat it up. And um, yeah, it just goes all stringy. They were £2.10. I got some tangerines for £1.50. Some mushrooms for £1.10, which I think is quite good for organic mushrooms. Some strawberries for £2. I got some parmesan cheese because I was going to make a veggie um, pasta and spaghetti bolognese. So this was £4. It's quite expensive, but when I looked at like how much the price was per like 100 grams or whatever they do it by, I always look at that. It actually wasn't so bad compared to everything else. Um, I got some apples for £1.80. We've already got loads. I think last week I overbought, thinking that the boys were at home all week and they weren't. So we've already got some. I got two aubergines for my pasta dish. They were £1.50 each. They don't actually look very good. I guess that's like the bad thing with not picking the shopping yourself is they don't necessarily pick you anything decent, do they? I got some Baileys for 70p. That's for a recipe. Maybe it was for my pasta. No, that's for my lamb stew. Um, I got some limes. I think they were 89p. Some avocados, which were on offer for £1.25. And I'm thinking of making a guacamole. I was going to have it with um, these muffins, which I got for a pound. And some hollandaise sauce, which was £1.50. If you have these together, so nice. But I might just make a guacamole because I've got some Doritos. Um, so yeah, this was £1.50, this was a pound, and this was £1.25. And then I got some bacon for, I think it goes in my lamb stew. Um, I will show the recipe because I'll um, film me making my stew. Um, that was £2. I did want to get the Jolly Hog brand, I think it's called, which was £2. Um, we had that yesterday, it was really nice. But I didn't have it online, but they do have it in the store. I did see it today and the day before. Um, but it says outdoor bread. Um, the Jolly Hog ones were the same. So, yeah, that's why I wanted to get those. 
I got this ham because I never know what ham to get. I mean, like, none of it really says that it's, like, um, meat that's been treated properly, does it? Well, I don't find that. That was £1.19. Um, Curtis is at work this morning fitting someone's window. <laughs> um, but he will be at home most of the week, so I thought he might want to make some sandwiches. Um, I got some coriander for a pound, which will be for meals and if I make guacamole. I did pop in, when I said I popped in, I got Cosmo these pants. Um, so they're age 9 to 10, they look quite nice. And they were £4.50. I got this toilet roll, it was on offer for £3.50 and you get nine rolls. And I got some bread for 60p. The peppers were £2.35. I don't usually like green, but that's all they had. Um, and then I got some pears just for a change. They were £2. You only get four, so it's quite a bit, but I've not tried those before, so it'll be interesting to try. I got some Greek yogurt just because I really like it with honey in it. Um, and that was a pound on offer. I usually get the low fat one, but I don't think I could find it. Um, I got some apple juice because we had, I wanted to get this last week. It was an offer of £2.50. It was £2.70 today. So I think it's quite expensive, but we had the orange juice last week and it was really, really nice. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I've not tried it yet, but I'll let you know if it's good. But the orange juice was really good. Um, I got some milk. They were £1.85 and I did get two four pints, but they've substituted it for two, um, two pints because they must have just not had the four pints. Some spinach for £1.80 and some tomatoes for £2, which would be like for dinners or my guacamole. Carrots were only a pound, and again, they've picked like, they look disgusting to be honest. They don't look very nice, but yeah, they were only a pound. I think that's really good for organic carrots. I got these cheeses because I bought them last week for the children and they really like them. Um, they're £1.50. And some cheesy leeks for cheesy leeks, leeks, I make cheesy leeks, £2. And then some eggs, these were on offer for £2.75. I got two packets of um, chilli heatwave crisps for nachos. They were £1.25 each on offer. I just like to get them because we really like nachos, so I just like to keep it in the cupboard in case. <laughs> um, and then some crisps just for the children. So for 12 this was £2.50. So I tell myself it's £1.25 for six, and I will pay about £1 for six. So, um, yeah, I thought that was quite good. And then I got some random fruit pouches. I just picked a random selection for Flossie because she really likes them. She actually wants one now. Um, so they're 60p each. I got pear, prune and banana, pear and apple, green veggies. I didn't actually realise I got a veggie one. I probably wouldn't have bought that otherwise. <laughs> apple and mango and a prune. I got some seasoning because if you watched my Meals of the Week video, you'd see that I didn't have enough seasoning on some of the meals. So Curtis loves jerk seasoning. So I got a jerk one which was 90p and then I went for a garlic and herb because that's sort of like really nice isn't it and easy and that was £1.10 and um, we've got enough salt but I love these um salt flakes the normal ones so I really wanted to try the salt the smoked ones that was £1.80 it's a smaller box than the other one which I think is £2 so I'll show you you do pay more because they're um smoked you see the box sizes can you see help that that's up um yeah it's a little bit smaller price was £1.75 I always love to keep that in the cupboard and a bolognese sauce was 70p some wipes because Rue is now on the toilet and this is just super helpful there was 75p and some fabric softener which was £3 and I haven't tried this one yet so Horatio, Flossy, Rue, Cosmo doesn't like things like this um they love these these one offer for £1.80 so I got a packet of those and then these were really expensive. These were £2.20 and I went into Tesco last week and like they got like a reduced bit and in the reduced bit was a packed box of these. Because the box was damaged it was um, 45p for the box. So now I've been hooked into buying them because Flossie absolutely loves them. You've never seen a child like enjoy something like this so much. Um, I don't actually know how good they are for you. Obviously they're going to be a bit... Um, salt it sugary but um so it's like fruit juice from concentrate apple strawberry i don't actually think they're very good for you you know what i mean they're not like loads of fruit like that's no added sugar um see that ingredients is like 65 percent 32 one so that is literally nearly 100 percent fruit isn't it but 
that's not. So really, it's a bit of a rip off. But she adored them. But yeah, that is everything I bought. My meals for the week. So our dinners today. Um, what's happened to my head? I was gonna do um, spaghetti bolognese because the boys really love it. But then I saw when I went into Sainsbury's, um, like a advertisement for their um, cafe, and it was like a jacket potato with mints, and I love that. So I'm tempted to do jacket potatoes with the mints instead. And then I put the um, tomato sauce on the mints with cheese and sour cream or cream fresh and it's so nice. So I'm torn between the two, but it's gonna be with mints. Um, I'm gonna do a barbecue sausages. I never got around to doing those um, last week. But yeah, I'll do them in the slow cooker with some Hunter's barbecue sauce on them. I'm gonna do lamb chops. I'm not sure what I'm gonna serve them with really i don't know maybe mash that sounds nice i'm gonna do them with mash and some vegetables i've got a whole chicken in the freezer from about a month ago so i'm gonna do that with chicken wraps and then the next day i will use the rest of the chicken because it's a huge chicken and use it for oh that was gonna be chicken jacket potatoes okay yeah so we'll have to get the bottom tonight otherwise we're gonna have like jacket potatoes twice and horatio's not really a big fan of them so yeah, we'll have to get to one later tonight. And then over the weekend, I was going to do a lamb stew and I'm going to do a roast beef dinner. And I have roast beef dinner in ages. We were going to have that last week and we didn't. Um, yeah, just like when things happen, we don't end up having the meals. So um, on Saturday, we went to our friend's wedding. It was so, so nice. So pretty. It was just lovely. I love weddings. I think they're so nice. I love watching people get married. Um, and the children all came. You would have seen a little picture of us if you follow me on Instagram. Um, they were so good. It was a little bit stressful because like in the bits where you have to wait, like wait for the ceremony and then wait for them to set the room up for the evening. We had like the kids running around and it wasn't like an enclosed space. Um, they could get out to the main bit of the hotel or around the front. So we had to like keep watching them and obviously you can't like hold Flossie the whole time. You can't put her in a pusher the whole time either. So like the older two were fine, but Flossie and Rue just kept running around. It's like me and Curtis just couldn't sit down. I mean, Curtis did so much, it always does. But we just couldn't rest. And personally, I wouldn't have taken the children because I find things like that are just like, well, not the younger two. They're just not child friendly, are they? They're just really hard work. But I literally, we had nobody to look after children. My mum's in America. My dad's two and a half hours away now. Um, we've also been doing Flossie's bedroom and it's basically complete. I've just got like a few decorative bits to put in it, but I'm so, so excited by it. It's like such a pretty bedroom and it's like everything I've ever wanted to make for a little girl and I'm really happy with it. And she loved it too. Like I've got this fairy wallpaper and you would think that like a one-year-old would not be interested by the sort of wallpaper you pick out, but she ran in her room and pointed to it and she was really happy with it. I'm going to do like a um, video of us doing Flossie's bedroom if anyone finds it interesting because I really enjoyed it. So like us painting it, decorating it. And um, so I've got a few more bits to do for it. But yeah, um, and then we got some furniture for the baby. Sorry, I'm really going on, aren't I? I hope you find this interesting. If you don't, then just, um, I will see you hopefully on my next video. But um, yeah, I just feel like I really need to catch up sometimes. Um, so we were looking for furniture for, to buy for the baby. And um, I found some on Facebook in the end. Um, but what I'll do is I'll show you it in a vlog. I'll explain it all then because some people are just here for a food haul. <laughs> so I hope you found my food haul interesting. I think I did quite well for the price, especially considering I got like so much organic bits. Um, and somebody asked me if I think the organic stuff's worth it. Um, and I do, I really do. Otherwise I wouldn't buy it because I've always been someone that's like gone into supermarket and looked for the cheapest thing and the best price. Whereas now I, I don't and I do think that it's worth it. And we have cut back on like spending other things and buying takeaways and stuff. So I think that it's worth cutting back on takeaways to buy things like this because some things aren't noticeable. Like if you buy an aubergine, you can't notice it. But I think the fruit's better and I think the meat is definitely better. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. And if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and stick around for more of my videos. And hopefully I will see you on my next video, which will be on Thursday. And that's either going to be a like power hour. Um, so you'll probably see some of the upstairs of the house because it's nice and tidy now. So I can get up there and do some filming up there because usually it's so messy. Um, and it's just not even like tackleable. I can't even tackle it. 
um but yeah and then i don't know what my other video is going to be i might vlog a day but yeah thank you for watching and hopefully i will see you in my next video and i hope you all have a lovely lovely week